Welcome everyone. If you guys are looking for a mid-range gaming laptop during this MCO, you may consider the Asus Tough Gaming FX505 DT. And this is my honest review. First of all, I purchased this product with my own saving money which with iCNR. So if you guys want to sponsor me or want me to review an item, you can contact me through my email down at the description below. Stay until the end of the video and I will tell you guys the total price. We are going to start with unboxing the main box itself. And I purchased this product from the local store here in Kuantan. First thing you notice, it came with a large box. Inside the box, there's another box and it came along with the ASUS Stuff backpack. Here is the laptop box and here are the specs as you can see. Inside the box, they give the manual instruction, small screw for 2.5 inch storage and also the 150 watt power adapter. Here comes the laptop. Enough with the unboxing, let's go through the specifications. So the Asus Stuff Gaming FX 505DT came with an AMD Ryzen 7 3000 series with best speed clock at 2.5 GHz and can go up until 4 GHz. For the GPU, it's using NVIDIA GTX 1650. It also equipped with 8GB RAM DDR4 sodium that came straight from the factory. And for the storage, it's using 512GB M.2 SSD. The display of this model is 15.6 inch full HD anti-glare display with an IPS level and refresh rate at 144 Hz and for the network and communication it has Wi-Fi 5 and Bluetooth 5.0 while the total weight of this laptop is 4.85 pounds or 2.2 kilograms now let us see the design and exterior of this laptop if you can see from the top view it's a gunmetal gray color with gold steel metal finish on the ASUS logo for the keyboard and touchpad, it's a full keyboard layout with number pad and all model comes with the ASUS Aura RGB backlit chiclet keyboard. The keyboard RGB color have 4 different modes which are static, breathing, strobing, and color cycle. color also can be changed into any color using the Armory Crates apps that has been installed in the system. You notice above the keyboard there's an air vent for the fan cooling system and beside of it has the power button and some indicator lights. The camera is 720p HD and is placed just above the screen. For the IO ports located on the left side of this laptop, there's a 3.5mm audio jack, 2 USB 3.1 Gen 1, 1 USB 2.0, 1 HDMI 2.0, an RJ45 jack, a power port, and the left speaker. While on the right side, there's nothing other than the right speaker and the Kensington lock. At the rear of the laptop, there's an air vent exhaust for cooling system, and also there's an two air vents located below the laptop. Finally, let us see inside the motherboard build. To open the bottom cover, unscrew 11 screw along the cover with screwdrivers and just pop up the lid. I do recommend you guys to carefully open the back cover and do not damage any of the electronic parts. Before you even try to open the bottom cover of this laptop, make sure you know what you are doing and find someone that are professional enough and bear in mind that I will not guarantee for your mistakes. Once the lid is removed, you'll see there's two cooling fans together with two heat pipes connected to the GPU and CPU. Below it has two RAM slots, 
which one of the slot has been installed with 8 GB RAM and the other one can be added if needed. On the left side below the fan, there's a 512 GB M.2 SSD memory stick. Just below it, there's the 48 Watt hour battery pack. Beside the battery pack, there's an empty slot for the 2.5 HDD or SSD storage and can be locked using the screw that is given in the box earlier. At the bottom of the box side, there's a 2 watt speaker. If you go to the ASUS website, they claim that this model is tougher than standards. It has passed the N10G military grade standards durability test and can endure the accident knock, sudden drop on the test, temperature, humidity, altitude, solidation, shock, and vibration, so on and blah 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 blah. I don't want to do tests on this because later on I will lose my warranty, la brother. Anyway, there's some things that I like and dislike about this model. Firstly, the things that I like is this display screen which they give 144Hz refresh rate is so satisfied while user have a smooth gameplay while in high FPS game. Secondly, are the RGB keyboard that they give which are really beautiful and for me it's very attractive. Next is the dual fan control where the fan can be controlled using the armory crates in three modes which is silent, performance and turbo. If you want to max out the performance of this laptop, you should play it on turbo mode. The only downside is that the fan can be quite loud while you're gaming. Next, the things that I don't like about these laptops are the speakers. To me honestly, the speakers are really upsetting and I can say that my previous laptop has a better speaker than this one. One more thing is that this laptop doesn't have a micro SD slot. Means that you have to use a USB cable or card reader to transfer any videos and photos. Other than that, this laptop performs excellent and it is a good choice for a mid-range gaming laptop. Now the price that I pay for this Asus FX 505DT is 3499 ringgit Malaysia and for me during this pandemic this branch is acceptable because as the community says nowadays either it's desktop laptop hardware and accessories getting expensive due to the low rate production in the market and that's it my review thanks for watching ciao lucu